those who interpret the Gita, they give a very simple but beautiful example that a doctor, a surgeon, has operated hundreds and hundreds of people. One day he heard that there is some critical operation and he has to do it after an accident. The doctor is well prepared because he is so expert in surgery. When he went inside, he found the young man who is lying down on the operation theater, or on the table in the operation theater. He is none but his own son. And he got his head reeling. He said, what? My son, I can't do it. He just came out, running out from the operation theater. He said, I can't do it. Hello, doctor. You have operated every day, even more critical cases than this young man. And you are a successful surgeon, but why can't you do this? He said, I can't operate my own son. Why do you see that he's your own son? He's your patient? No. Just to think, what happened to him? He has operated hundreds of people. But he could not operate one young man. Why? Because he could not see the patient. He saw his own son. If you cannot see a patient, how can you operate it? If you cannot see enemy, how can you fight? Now question to you. When you sit for meditation, when sleep comes to you, or useless thoughts come and disturb you, at that time, what happens to you? You become weak or you have to fight with your sleep. You have to fight with your Useless thoughts. Tell me. If you have to fight with your own weakness, you have to accept that these weaknesses which I have, they are not my friends, they are my enemies. Suppose you are determined to meditate and you heard telephone ringing. What you will do? You will meditate or you will run to pick up the telephone? Think, you want to meditate, you have some work to do. Work means, it is not such big work, it can be done one hour after. But postponing your own meditation, if you go to do some work, let me finish this. What is happening to you? Suppose you have to go to a good company, for example, satsang. A friend came and told you, Come and let us watch television or go to cinema house. What you will tell? As this is a situation where we make some compromise if we are weak. No compromise if I am strong. This is the time to pray, to meditate, forget about everything. Paramahamsa Yoganandji said, everything else can wait for you. But don't postpone your quest for God. Everything else can wait for you. But what happens in our life? We postpone everything. We postpone our meditation. We postpone our study. We postpone our other things. For what? Little pleasure. Little fun. Little friendship. What happened to Arjuna here? He is telling. I cannot see my enemies. Previously, I was willing to see with whom I am to fight. I see the friends in my enemies, the relatives in my enemies. Not only in the side of the Kauravas, I also look at my own side, the army of the Pandavas, the same faces, known faces.